And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. As usual, it's me, Jake Baldino, and I'm sorry I'm late on this one, but we're finally talking about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu slash Eevee. Here is the Nintendo Switch Pokemon game that isn't quite what fans were expecting. I'm gonna get this out of the way right at the start. Yes, this is a simpler Pokemon game aimed at new Switch buyers and fans of the, yes, insanely still popular Pokemon Go in an attempt to bring in new fans and bank on some nostalgia too. It's honestly, if you think about it, a brilliant move by them capitalizing on the resurgence of Pokemon with all that. It's great for Gen 1ers as they're called, but thankfully, uh, Pokemon Company has told us that we're getting a full-featured, RPG-heavy, traditional Pokemon sequel next year or so. I'm crazy looking forward to that. But having said all that and gotten that all out of the way, uh, yeah, I can still say Pokemon Let's Go is fun. It's simple, it's entertaining, and it's like video game comfort food. It's beautiful, it's got cool music, it brings back Pokemon memories I had as a kid. It's also, not very challenging, and it strips away a core element of the normal Pokemon games that I just can't really forgive. But whichever version you get, Pokemon Let's Go is essentially a reimagining of Pokemon Yellow, sort of, kind of. It has the original towns, the original gym leaders, the original 151 Pokemon, and even Professor Oak. If you're an old fan, there are absolutely parts of this game where you can just kind of play it with your eyes closed. Uh, but you shouldn't, because every so often, the game will subvert your expectations and preconceived notions just enough to warrant an interesting playthrough. I, I think you should check out. And like I said, you should play with your eyes open because the game is gorgeous. The art style and environment design and the way the Pokemon come to life feel right at home on the Switch. And if anything, it does make me pretty excited for what other, other Pokemon games are coming next. Colors pop, uh, the grass rustles, and Pokemon have more detail and movements than you'd expect. NPCs still kind of stand around like weird soulless weirdos. Uh, it's something from the old games that doesn't hold up in a more alive world, I will say that. Uh, battling is simple, but it still works great. By 2018 standards, it's a tried and true, uh, basic turn-based battle system with attack stats, defense stats, buffs, etc, etc. But if you've been missing out on the good stuff lately, like Sun and Moon and X and Y, this awesome new 3D graphics battle stuff will completely blow you away. And again, some of that is all the nostalgia factor. Uh, there's the music that has been ingrained in your brain for 20 years, which is lovingly recreated here, and it'll all feel the same. Uh, your best friend Pikachu jumping off your shoulder and into a fight with Jesse and James from Team Rocket will just make you feel all the feels. But catching Pokemon and grinding is where things change though, and you're either gonna love it or hate it. Encountering wild Pokemon in the grass means you'll now see them running around and you can initiate a go at them, which is kind of cool. The only thing is, you don't actually battle them. You engage in what is basically the catching system from Pokemon Go to throw the Pokemon a berry, uh, choose your Pokeball, and get a good throw to hopefully successfully catch them. And that's it. Now you're gonna wanna catch more Pokemon cleaner and even combo certain catches in a row because it all factors into XP earned for every catch. Now this is what goes into leveling your Pokemon up aside from battling other trainers. So while you can't grind away fighting Pokemon in the grass to make yours stronger, uh, you can catch the same Pokemon over and over again to grind for XP. It has more uses later on that I won't spoil, but basically that's the gist of it. This, at least for me, gets really old really quick, especially since I've been doing it in Pokemon Go. Uh, motion controls aren't fun for it, however which way it works, and while you can aim and throw analog, uh, getting there for some disabled folks might be a bit more trouble, which sucks, and I think that's worth pointing out. If you are into that type of catching though, you can get the extra Pokeball controller, which we tested out, which is actually pretty premium feeling. It makes sounds, it lights up, it vibrates. It's a fun, goofy way to play because it's like throwing a Pokeball, and it has just enough buttons to be able to play the game normally and control it. Plus, you can put a Pokemon in it and take it on the go with you and movement will slowly level it up, kind of like Pokemon Go. And yeah, you can import your Pokemon Go Pokemon into this game. It's a bit complicated and you gotta get a few gym badges under your belt before you use it, say like maybe 15 hours or so, depending on how you play. But I'm sure some Pokemon Go fans will just really appreciate this whole thing. I found it more of a novelty since I don't care that much. I'm more into the core Pokemon games than Pokemon Go, but that's just me. Cause otherwise it's a classic Pokemon game with a few more bells and whistles, some new surprises and some characters throughout, uh, the ability to play with your Pokemon and even dress you and your companion up with different stuff. You can ride on your Pokemon and have them follow you in the real world, which is cool. 
And honestly, discovering all that and rediscovering old stuff along the way is, I think, worth the price of admission for old school fans and current hardcore fans alike. You know, it's got the focus on catching Pokemon, which I think is kind of lame. It's kind of a flaw for me, but otherwise it's simple, it's easy, and it's it's harmless old Pokemon. It's like warm apple pie. It's like coming home for Christmas. I, I don't know. I, like many others, wanted more, but knowing we are getting more on the horizon, this game, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, uh, works as a damn good appetizer. But of course, that's just me and this is a before you buy. I give you some pros, some cons, and a lot of personal opinion. So now I want to hear your personal opinion down in the comments. Are you one of the people that are just review bombing this game? Are you looking forward to a trip down memory lane? Are you someone that plays a lot of Pokemon Go and you're looking forward to getting into this again, getting back in the action? Or have you played every single Pokemon game and you consider this one a letdown? Maybe you fall somewhere in the middle, kind of like me. I don't know, whoever you are, let's talk Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu you Eevee down in the comments. Also, which version did you get? Also, if you have any questions for me, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jake Baldino. I'm over there. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video and learned something, clicking the like button helps us out a ton. We really appreciate it. And if you're new, you should consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because we put out videos like this every single day. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.